Good day, I'm Jim Pytel, your EET 111 instructor at Columbia Gorge Community College's Renewable Energy Technology Program. Today we're going to talk about schematics. Before we start talking about schematics, we're going to talk about something a little bit more familiar, namely a map. A map, or a set of blueprints like I'm carrying right here, is a two-dimensional representation of physical space. I'm located on the Columbia Gorge Community College, the Dallas campus, and as we can see, Building 1 is to the east of Building 2 which corresponds exactly to what we see on the map. From my location here, appears building one is to the east of building two, and building three, the patio, is to the south of building two from where you're viewing. And in between is a large courtyard, which I am standing next to, which corresponds exactly to what we see on land. So basically a map, is a one-to-one -one correspondence what's graphically represented to what's really there, enabling us to translate from reality to paper and from paper back to reality. Using a set of schematics is no different than this. Okay, schematic is a two-dimensional representation of a circuit. It allows us to build a circuit from scratch or troubleshoot and identify parts within an existing circuit. For example, I've built this circuit right here from this schematic right here. According to the schematic, we have got a 12 volt source, which is this right here, and the red high goes to the red wire, and the black low goes to the black wire. I recommend keeping a color scheme and sticking with it through the course of your building a circuit. You can make it as colorful and as confusing as George Clinton's hairdo, but I highly recommend keeping the one-to-one -one mapping between schematic and reality. So again, going back to our schematic, we've got a 2.2K resistor which is this guy right here, and a 1K and a 3.3K 3.3K in parallel, which is right here, and they go back to the low of the 12 volt source. Okay, in conclusion, our schematic and our circuit should be closely related as possible, basically keeping that one-to-one -one correspondence between what's graphically represented and what's physically there.